Let's take a look at this fascinating new July 3rd, 2023 message from Carlo Maria Viganò. He writes, The sensitivity that Bergoglio shows towards idols and false religions is second only to the contempt he has for the true God and the one church. On the one hand, he receives notoriously blasphemous artists in the Sistine Chapel and supports the LGBTQ plus sect, which publicly vilifies our Lord and the Blessed Virgin. On the other, he expresses indignation over a Koran burned by those who are exasperated by the Mohammedan invasion imposed by the New World Order he promoted. A crucifix dipped in urine is worth a papal audience full of smiles and a thumbs up. The Pachamama thrown into the Tiber arouses deploration. One wonders of which church he can be considered Pope. Certainly not the Catholic one. Bergoglio and his sect, enslaved to woke ideology, take the errors of Vatican II to their extreme consequences and create the premises, with immigration and ecumenism, for the social unrest that the globalist elite wants to create, so as to legitimize new restrictions on fundamental freedoms. The new order prepares the way for the Antichrist, but Bergoglio, in the role of his prophet, seems to want to get there even faster. This is, of course, an admission by Vigano that Francis, as a rabid anti-Catholic, as a manifest, pertinacious heretic, cannot possibly be an actual pope. Notice he starts in the very first sentence by saying that Francis has contempt for the true God and the one church. And then he recites a litany of outrages from Francis. But I want to focus here on the third and the last paragraphs. Let's look at the second sentence of that third paragraph. He says, One wonders of which church, in quotes, he can be considered, again in quotes, Pope, certainly not the Catholic one. In other words, he isn't the Pope, because the only true church is the Catholic Church. The one church he mentions in the first paragraph. And therefore, if Francis is certainly not the Pope of the Catholic Church, then he is certainly not a Pope. And of course, this makes perfect sense, because one cannot be the head of a body of which one is not a member. Now recall, recall your catechism. Do you know your catechism? Do you know actual Catholic doctrine? Do you know that baptism, while necessary, is insufficient to be an actual Catholic? One must also profess the actual Catholic faith, as Pope Pius XII makes clear in his encyclical Mystici Corporis. It's, I forget, it's either paragraph 22 or 23. Baptism is not sufficient. One must profess the actual Catholic faith. This is, of course, just a matter of basic logic. Again, one cannot be the head of a body of which one is not a member. And if there's one thing Francis has made perfectly clear, it's that he hates actual Catholicism. He manifestly hates it with the white-hot hatred of a thousand burning suns. Now let's look at this last astonishing sentence. The new order prepares the way for the Antichrist, but Bergoglio, in the role of his prophet, seems to want to get there even faster. He just called Jorge Bergoglio the man holding himself out to the world as an actual pope, the man whom 99.9999% of the world calls an actual pope. He just called that man the prophet of the Antichrist. And of course, one cannot simultaneously be the vicar of Christ and the vicar of Satan. 
as a prophet of Antichrist ultimately is. Let me say that again. One cannot simultaneously be the vicar of Christ and the vicar of Satan. And yet Vigano just called Francis the prophet of the Antichrist, as I have for years now on this channel. Therefore, Vigano is saying that Francis cannot possibly be an actual pope. Now, he's implicitly saying this. The time needs to come where he'll come straight out and say this, straight out like this. Actual popes must be actually Catholic. Francis has abundantly proven that he isn't an actual Catholic. Therefore, Francis cannot possibly be an actual pope. Be not deceived by the robes, by the buildings, by the false humility, by the sugary words, by the applause of the world. Francis cannot possibly be an actual pope. He needs to come right out and say that. In any event, substantially, in this latest message from Vigano here, yes, he admits Francis is not an actual pope. Francis cannot possibly be an actual pope. And therefore, I say bravo to Carlo Maria Vigano. Francis cannot possibly be an actual pope, nor can the entity he leads possibly be the actual Catholic Church. Why not? Because this entity has manifestly been overcome by hell. But our Lord Jesus Christ promised that his actual church shall not be overcome by hell. And of course, this is an infallible promise coming from the mouth of our Lord himself. Therefore, since the entity now led by Francis spawned at Vatican II, which I call the Novus Ordo Antichurch, since this entity has manifestly been overcome by hell, by preaching heresy, by its blasphemy, by its idolatry with Pachamama, for example, by its being filled from top to bottom with sodomites. This entity has manifestly been overcome by hell. And therefore, just as Francis cannot possibly be an actual pope, this entity cannot possibly be the actual Catholic Church. This is the reality that we're faced with, whether we like it or not. This is the reality, and it doesn't require any legal declaration whatsoever to recognize this reality. Say that you come across a body lying in a pool of blood. The flesh of this body is visibly rotting. The eyes of this body are oozing down the cheeks. Maggots are crawling in and out of the eye sockets the ears, and elsewhere. The stench of this body is overpowering, overpowering to the point that you start choking on vomit. Do you immediately conclude that you are looking at a dead body? Or do you say, I need to await the legal declaration of the coroner before I can say this is a dead body and therefore before I can call the police and start an investigation? Of course not. Patently absurd. You immediately conclude, based on your rational powers of deduction that God has given you, that this is a dead body. And so it is with Francis and the entity he leads. This stinking, festering monstrosity that you see in Francis and the Novus Ordo Antichurch requires no legal declaration. A legal declaration is simply a subsequent affirmation of obvious reality that you've already apprehended. And get this, even if there's never any legal declaration that that body is dead, that body remains dead. And get this, Francis isn't simply a bad father. Rather, he isn't a father at all. One must first be an actual Catholic to be an actual Pope. But Francis, not being an actual Catholic, isn't an actual Pope, and therefore he isn't your father. So no, be not afraid to get real, really real. Be not afraid to use 
the God-given rational faculties with which you've been endowed. Many speak of the dangers of not following an actual pope, but it's time to start thinking of the dangers of following a false pope and a false church. Francis and his counterfeit church are manifestly false, and they are extreme dangers to your soul. Flee them, and don't legitimate them by calling them what they aren't. Every time you call Francis an actual pope, you validate his fraud. And every time you call the Novus Ordo anti-church he leads the actual Catholic Church, you slander the actual Catholic Church, and you sell a lie. You participate in a diabolical lie. And now let me conclude with this. There are some who identify as traditional Catholics who say, no, this isn't important. What does it matter who's really the Pope? And besides, it doesn't affect my day-to-day -day life. This is madness. The identities of Francis and the entity he leads are the most important questions of our time and are among the most important questions of all time, on par with the identity of Jesus of Nazareth. Remember these words from Matthew 16, 15. Whom do you say that I am? This is the supreme question of all time. Upon our answer to this question depends our eternal destination. An actual pope is a vicar of Christ. A vicar of Christ. An actual pope is therefore to be treated with maximum reverence, docility, and obedience. An attitude of resistance towards one believed to be an actual pope, an actual vicar of Christ is alien to Catholicism and is indeed insane. Who is this strange man, Francis? Is he an actual pope? Is the entity he leads the actual Catholic Church, outside of which there is no salvation? Can it possibly be? Incredibly, there are now traditionalists, so-called, who dismiss these supreme questions as unimportant, as irrelevant to their lives. Madness. Complete madness. Talk about diabolical disorientation. It's time to get real, really real, 